Hey everyone, Will here with my flea market finds for September 1st, 2013. Uh, kind of a light week this week. Uh, it's a Labor Day weekend and uh, I think I kept a lot of people from setting up. I uh, still managed to uh, find some halfway decent stuff. A um, couple surprises in there. Uh, I think you might uh, like it. Uh, so let me show you what I got. Uh, the big deal of the day. We'll start off with that. Starting here, whole box of uh, transformers. This all came in one lot. Box of transformers, bag of Lego, got some toys down there. There's some uh, vintage noisemakers, uh, airplanes, uh, official price stuff. This is a uh, Hubley, got a bunch of Hubley, bunch of, bunch of uh, Tootsie Toys, and there's a uh, Batman car, um, that's a cool looking piece, what is that, that's a uh, Tootsie Toy, I won't go, every, go over every single piece with you, just Take a couple highlights out. A couple uh, Tootsie Toy howitzers there. Couldn't find a name on this one. It looks like a Tootsie Toy or Hubbly. But uh, lots of stuff. Uh, take a look. G.I. Joe Jeep Combat Set. I don't have the Jeep, but I do have the, uh, the trailer to go with the Jeep. I uh, also got some paperwork for a $6 million man. Here's a uh, uh, transport repair station. Here's a uh, Johnny West equipment uh, manual. Tonka car transport. Uh, neat little Tonka Beetle there. Should bring some decent money. Um, Another Tonka. This was pretty neat. True scale. Looks uh, that could bring some good money. Sell it by itself. Uh, here's a uh, Marx uh, power grader. Pretty neat looking. Uh, Hubbly school bus. A little uh, hot rod there, buddy O. Uh, Structo dump truck. There it's a uh, Mark's uh, tow truck right there. Seen better days, but uh, really solidly built. There's a uh, international tractor with the uh, scoop on the front. And uh, Tonka, they call this the alligator. It goes on uh, land or water. Um, a little uh, structo truck there. Okay, that was all one lot that I got from a uh, from a dealer. I've dealt with them before. And so I paid hundred and fifty dollars for this entire lot. I know that seems like a lot, but I think I'm going to do okay with it. Um, some of this stuff, you know, like at GI Joe Jeep and all, um, should have no trouble getting 150 back, plus make a uh, nice little profit on top of it. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, moving on to the regular stuff. I uh, have 19 show and tell. Uh, if you're from the 60s and 70s, uh, growing up in the 60s or 70s, you probably remember the little uh, record player uh, that showed the uh, videos as the record played. Well, that's uh, that's what these are. Uh, paid $10 for the 19 and thought they would bring a little bit more, but actually they don't bring a whole lot. So uh, probably still going to end up getting about 2 bucks a piece or so. So probably get about $40 for that lot. Uh, 
kind of a neat little thing here. Bigfoot uh, snowshoes. You put them on your feet and leave uh, Bigfoot tracks. Uh, that was five bucks. And what makes it neat? Got a picture of Bigfoot there uh, walking along. Uh, some uh, tribal uh, tour start. Uh, lady said she brought these all the way back from Africa. Um, neat little bow and arrow set. Uh, some nice uh, forged uh, tips on the arrows. Paid five bucks for that. Uh, that's at least a twenty dollar item, I think. Love the uh, cap gun holsters there uh, with the studs. Nice heavy leather. Uh, paid ten dollars for the pair of these. Uh, not sure what they'll bring, but uh, um, definitely uh, going to make some money on that. Uh, Victory Animal Dominoes. Uh, paid ten bucks. <coughs> oh. Um, just uh, really good condition, and uh, I haven't looked them up. Probably not worth a whole lot. I've done really good with baseballs in the past. Uh, this is a uh, Babe Ruth League. Uh, not quite sure what Babe Ruth League is. I'm assuming it's like a uh, little league. Uh, um, Got to do a little research in it. Guy had 12 on it. Got it for 10. It's nice it even comes with the uh, case. Got a Ranger Joe uh, mug made by let me see it oh it's uh, AH Anchor Hawking um, four bucks on that little uh, Japanese sword uh, letter opener it's even got the uh, little wave going down the blade which was pretty neat uh, that was two bucks. Lots of uh, sword collectors out there, even for little stuff. Uh, Goofus glass. Um, pretty neat. I got both these for five dollars. All Goofus glass I've seen up to this point has been the red and gold. I've never seen the white and gold. And at first, when I first saw it, I thought, well, it's been repainted, but that looks original. Um, so something a little different, have to look that up. Can't go wrong for five bucks. It's uh, with the Goofus glass, it's hard to find uh, with a lot of the paint on it because you wash it a few times and the paint uh, is just painted on glass and wash it a couple times, comes right off. Uh, Los Angeles Kings patches. I've so I think I still have these in my store. I sell them for ten bucks a piece. I paid two dollars a piece, and uh, there's four of them there. Plum Bob. There's actually Plum Bob collectors out there, and I paid a buck for that neat little piece. Uh, Figaro. I walked into a uh, store, and this was on there. It says uh, "cute green kitten." Three bucks. Uh, recognized it as Figaro, and it's even marked. Where's it marked? Um, there. I don't know why you can make that out, but it says uh, WDP, uh, Walt Disney Productions. Um, so I'm thinking 20 bucks maybe. Uh, that's potato chips popular around here. 50th anniversary for 1971. Uh, paid uh, three dollars for that. It's at least a twenty twenty five dollar item. Uh, don't know the first thing about them, but uh, got a box of Gibson handmade strings still in the box uh, for five bucks. Took a chance. Uh, fish tank says uh, two fifty. Uh, fish tank accessory. I've had good luck selling uh, fish tank stuff before. Uh, we'll give that a try. Picked up a uh, Garfield coffee mug for a buck. Really good shape. Looks like it's never been used. Uh, Ellsmore Fire Company, 1964. 
Uh, that was four bucks. Uh, Baltimore Colt mug. Guy had ten on it. Got it for eight. Another one here. This is an old one. 150th anniversary, 1940. Uh, that was two dollars. A little juicer here. I've had I had a clown juicer uh, years ago, and that brought over a hundred dollars. It uh, it was very similar to this. Uh, Pay ten for this, even with a couple chips on the rim. Uh, you gotta look him up. Have to see what he's uh, going for. Uh, JCB uh, belt buckle. I like belt buckles. They don't take up a lot of room. They're easy to pack, and uh, they bring decent money. A uh, pair of uh, Fort Pitt salt and pepper shakers. Never seen uh, Fort Pitt stuff before. Took a chance on them for eight bucks. Uh, Fleming, Flemish, Fleming art. I've seen. I gotta look it up. Um, that was uh, two bucks. A uh, whole pack of uh, World War II uh, war ration books. Uh, take a look at the woman here. Um, she was 56, and her occupation was dressmaker. Not too many of them around anymore. Oh, the uh, thermos. Lost in space. Now, when I thought there's, this can't be really lost in space. I got it for 20 bucks, not 25. Um, you know, when I hear lost in space, I think of the uh, uh, TV show. Uh, you know, with Robbie the Robot. Uh, but this is actually uh, Apollo 13, um, which was pretty neat. And it's actually a pretty rare uh, thermos. Uh, pricing on these things are all over the place. I saw one on Worth Point that brought $152, and then the one right next, right below it, brought like $35. So, not quite sure where to price it. I'm going to start out, since it's in really good shape, uh, liner, glass liner inside is in good shape. I'm going to start out at 150 just see what kind of response I get. can always come down in price. Uh, picked up a uh, bayonet. This is to a M1 carbine. Uh, this is the M4. Um, made by Imperial. Really nice uh, handle on it, leather handle. Uh, the, got it for 60 bucks because somebody did a horrible thing to it and took a grinder to the blade. Um, since the damage is already done, I think I'm going to come along with uh, some fine sandpaper and just take that uh, grind mark out, uh, dress it up a little bit. Might keep it for myself and might sell it, not sure. I got uh, 30 old time, you can tell they're old, uh, cookie cutters. And they were uh, 25 bucks for the box. They were asking a dollar a piece. Took a chance on them. Um, not too bad there. Uh, Muriel Cigars, that was five bucks for a t cigar tin. Bought a flute, Glenn Edward. Be nice if it turns out to be silver. Um, haven't looked it up, and that was 25. Uh, the picture back here, I believe this is uh, Roseville pottery, early Roseville pottery. Um, it's unmarked. Ten dollars as is. Uh, looks a lot like uh, a cow uh, picture I had um, earlier this year. Um, a and W root beer concentrate. That was uh, three dollars for the jug. Uh, the towel back here. Um, really well done. Jane College. Um, only ten dollars. She's a local artist. Uh, nothing really uh, of her stuff uh, can be found. Uh, but for ten bucks, I think. Um, I'll put that on eBay. Put uh, maybe put Duck Dynasty in the uh, in the title, and uh, I think that'll help it along. Um, it's neat that it's on a tile. Uh, got 
three flags. One of them's still in the box. Uh, one of them's a 48 star, the other two are 50. Um, if that was a 48 star in the box, you can see it's a 48 star on there, uh, that'd be about a $65, $70 uh, flag right there. Good quality flags, sewn on stars. Uh, look like they've never been flown. Um, should do well with that. I uh, got a watering can, seven bucks. That's going to be a gift. Uh, Airlight. This is a uh, airmail uh, whole airmail packet. Got some uh, um, first day of issue stamps in here. Not sure, but this thing too. It's uh, full of stamps. Not really a stamp person. Um, not really uh, sure what they might be worth. I mean, they're all uh, they're all solid. Uh, no uh, cancellation on them. Uh, that was seven dollars for the uh, for a pair of them. Wedgwood Peter Rabbit still in a box. That was uh, five bucks for that set. I uh, got some more stuff for the uh, tree house. Uh, picked up a nice window, brand new, 84 lumber, um, with the screen, uh, never been installed. Got that for 25 bucks, which was a pretty good deal. Uh, got some hardware here, got some uh, hinges for the door for a buck, a doorknob for three bucks, and a pulley. I figure a tree house is going to need a pulley at some point. Uh, haven't made much progress on the tree house, but uh, we're going to try to fix that. A couple SK uh, sausage, sausage uh, tins. Really good condition. I've sold these in the past for uh, $20-$25 a piece. No reason I can't get $25 a piece for them. I paid uh, $10 for the pair of them. Uh, this is a really one of my favorite pieces right here of the uh, of the lot. This is a Smalley cookie jar from 1970s, I guess. If it was just a cookie jar, it'd be worth about I don't know, uh, not a whole lot, 25 bucks. But what makes it is it's a McCoy cookie jar, and it's still in the McCoy uh, shipping box. Now that is neat. Is neat. Um, never seen that before. Uh, really neat that it has still has the original uh, McCoy box. Um, I'm gonna put like 125 on this because it has a box. Uh, I've never seen that before. Uh, so uh, should do well. Uh, and. Last item up, got another one of these uh, Super Marble, um, one of these quack medical devices that uh, you plug it in and rub it over your skin, it's supposed to cure everything. Um, not as good a shit, if you remember I had one of these a few months ago, sold it right away at $125, um, I paid 20 bucks for this. Uh, since it's not in as good a shape, I still think I can get about $80 for it. Uh, so there we go. Uh, still a lot of stuff. Uh, not quite as uh, what I'm used to showing you, but uh, overall not too bad. A lot of work ahead, uh, and uh, we'll see how this stuff goes. So check out the eBay store, uh, Terminal 99 on eBay. So until next time, it's Will the Art Sales Survivalist, and we'll talk again soon.